hello on Friday the 8th of January. I may the Lord be with you. The Reverend Barbara sends her blessings to each and every one. I'm starting today with the diocesan prayer for these times. Keep us good Lord under the shadow of your mercy in this ongoing time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our readings today are from Isaiah chapter 64 and Psalm 46. In general, I don't think that we humans are very good at estimating either time or distance. I don't know about you, but whenever I go somewhere new, it always feels much further on the way out than it does on the return journey. And that isn't because I got myself lost on the way there. A few years ago, Reverend Barbara asked Alex to do a sketch in a service at St. Luke's. If I call it, are we there? Some of you may well remember it. It was all to do with those times when children are traveling in a car. It could be to a holiday 200 miles away, but by the time you're at the M6, just outside Preston, the question starts, are we there? And carries on for the rest of the journey. Everyone laughed because we all recognised that inability to gauge time and distance together with an element of impatience. We are not good at waiting. With that in mind, we may well have mixed feelings when we come across a phrase which crops up throughout the Bible. And it's there in today's reading from Isaiah. We are asked to wait for the Lord. And it's also the theme which runs through today's song. It's all to do with waiting for God's purpose to be revealed. And we do this by spending time with God and obeying him. There is one practical outcome of doing this, and that is we have less chance of getting in God's way. But it's also helpful in our relationship with God because it helps us to recognize God at work and it helps us to trust God. As it says at the start of Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. And when we wait for God and for his purposes to be revealed, it's the equivalent of waiting for the revelation of his vision. And that is something which is picked up in our community prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you that you are already everywhere. We pray for the areas of Mill Hill, Gallagreaves, Banktop and Witten. We think of everyone who lives in them all who work there and those who pass through these areas during their daily lives. We ask that you give us the eyes to see your vision for these places. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's pray for anyone who is struggling with this recent cold weather and who is worried about paying heating bills. Let's pray for people who are anxious about job security 
And let's pray for all who are unwell, that God's healing touch is on them. We now come to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our final blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. A peace which the world cannot give. Be in your hearts and minds. In your homes and in your communities. And the blessing of God Almighty. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Be with you and your families today and always. Amen.